The Labor Department reported today that another 365,000 Americans joined the line for unemployment benefits last week. It was 27,000 fewer than the week before, but still a high number. In the capital of New York State, they're not waiting for an economic turnaround. Jim Axelrod tells us they're creating one in a laboratory, a lab that uses nanotechnology. That's the science of subatomic particles to make computer chips and jobs. Don't let the physical decay of downtown Albany, New York fool you. This may be the Rust Belt, but there's a new kind of industrial revolution going on here. Just ask John Keefe. The recession seems to be every place but here. Here is Albany's College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering, where Keefe, who did not graduate not from college, has a job as an assistant helping an army of PhDs develop the world's next generation of computer chips. I felt I was way over my head, but once I started doing what they were asking me to do, it was like any other job, you know. Five years ago, if I showed you in your clean room getup, you probably wouldn't have believed that was you going to work. I didn't even know what a clean room was. Keith worked in a local paper factory for 23 years before being laid off. Today, he's one of more than 2,700 employees at the Nano College, supporting 250 professors and students who measure progress in units smaller than an atom. Statewide, the college is the engine behind nearly 13,000 jobs. This is unique. There's nothing like it. Physicist Alain Calleros built the Nano College by using a billion dollar state investment to attract another $13 billion from computer industry giants like Intel and IBM. For the first time in history, to my knowledge, the computer chip and nanotechnology industry have put together a consortium that is run and managed by a state, by a college, not by the industry itself. This unique arrangement allows companies to get more bang for their research dollars, oh, students to get a chance to audition for the biggest names in the business, and people like John Keefe can get what's been lacking in this recovery, a job. So here in this high-tech world, cutting-edge stuff, mm -hmm. there's a, a chance for a blue-collar guy to thrive? Oh, yeah. There's plenty of us out there you know, that can find their niche. Caliero says those 13,000 jobs statewide will double in the next five years. That could mean $2 billion in payroll pumped into New York's economy. There's nothing nano about that. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Albany.